So check it out. I just wanted to make this video and the follow-ups. I'm not going to do none, none of my own stuff. I'm going to read an update from the industry or whatever. Interesting status report from Valley Guns in West Virginia. Um, I guess it's by a guy named Steve Quayle. Um, it's, t it's, uh, I guess it says guns and ammo updates, uh, Americans preparing for civil war. I'm just going to read this and that's what the video is going to be. And then you guys just go to your own conclusions or whatever. <clears throat> status of the gun industry. Attention, uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Status of the gun industry. To follow with several important info updates about the status of the gun, gun industry currently followed by inventory update. We traveled to Texas for industry meetings concerning the shortages. Here's what we're told. Smith & Wesson is running at full capacity, making 300-plus guns daily, mainly MMP, mainly MMP pistols. They are unable to produce any more guns to help with shortages. Ruger plans to increase from 75% to 100% in the next 90 days. FNH moving from 50% production to 75% by February 1st and 100% by March 1st. Remington maxed out. Armalite maxed out. DP DPMS can't get enough parts to produce any more product. Colt production runs increasing production runs increasingly weakly. Bottleneck bottlenecked by bolt carriers. Making uh I'm sorry, LWRC making only black guns, running at full capacity, can't get enough gun quality steel to make barrels. Springfield Armory, only company who can meet demand but are running 30 to 45 days behind. Ammo, every caliber, all, every caliber is now allocated. We all are looking at a nationwide shortage of all calibers over the next nine months. All plants are producing as much ammo as possible with with of one billion with one billion rounds produced weekly, most in military, followed by law enforcement and civilians third in line. So we're third in line. All right. I'm not arguing about it or saying anything. I'm just letting you know where we're at, civilians. Um, reloaders. All Remington, Winchester, CCI, and Federal Primers are going to ammo to ammo first. There's no extras for re no extras for reloading purposes. It could be six to nine months before things get caught up. Sorry for the bleak news, but now we know what to expect in the coming months. Stay tuned. Anyways, quick shooting t towards the end of this. Um, they didn't the talking about the gun manufacturers and such. They didn't know when they'd be getting anything back in stock from magazine uh, from magazines to rifles to pistols. Manufacturers were running full but couldn't come close to keeping up with the market demand. It wasn't just the AR-15s, the AK pattern rifles, the M1As, and the FALs that were sold out. It really hit me when I realized that the World War era M1 Grands, M1 Carbines, and Enfield 303s were gone, along with every last shell. Uh, Mose and the Gaunts, which are everywhere, as everybody knows, he's saying uh, we're, we're pretty much gone and, and the... Ammo was gone for it too. Um, anyways, the very sum of this story. Every weapon of the military utility designed within the past 100 plus years was gone. This isn't a society stocking up on certain guns because they fear they may be banned. This is a society preparing for war. That's all I got. And as always, the revolution will be televised.